Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well today. Look, about two years ago, I made a video on YouTube and this was about um, a Barcelona poster. I'm sure most of you have seen it already. And ever since I made that particular video, a lot of you keep asking me to create more. And um, I think, yes, this is why we are here today, to create another version. But this time around, we are not going with the Barcelona one. We are going with Real Madrid. So what we are going to create is what you see on your screen. And everything is going to be explained in this particular video. So if you are new to this, channel look subscribe because everything here is about canva and just in case you're on the free version of canva i have a link in the description box below that can help you start using canva pro for free so take advantage of it and let's dive into today's video Right, so you can see this is looking very beautiful, but just in case you don't know how, you can even get here in the first place. All you need to do is to come to create a design, okay? And over here, you can just come down to see custom dimension, okay? Or custom size, click on it and set it to 1080, okay, by 1350. Once you do that, you should have something like this, okay? Very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And another thing you need to know is everything, all the assets I use in this design, I've left the link down there so that you can easily download them to follow this particular tutorial okay because unfortunately i haven't been able to upload the template so just make sure you're finding all the assets down there in the description okay so let's dive into it the first thing we are going to do is to work on our background so in the background we'll just come make sure you have it selected come to background color and choose the gray okay and the gray i am using is 7b 7472 okay that's what we are doing here then after you finish come here into element and make sure you're searching for cement okay not cement block but cement okay and you should see so many examples all right so choose it you can see this is the texture i want and it's always good to have textures on your design okay then come to transparency and reduce it okay just something slight so if you, i'll just set it mine to 35 you can set yours to how you want it depending on what you want okay now after you do that make sure you're coming to your uploads okay and in uploads the first thing you would want to find is the uefa champions trophy okay this one and i know a lot of you love football let me know your favorite team mine is chelsea what's yours let me know in the comment section below okay yeah so i would increase this you know to make it big something like this come to transparency and reduce the size okay so you see we have something like this lovely mine has been set to 22 but i think i can just make it 20 okay yeah just to make it easy then the next thing we are actually going to do is to press r on our keyboard okay and we can see this ship is matching the color of our background but we are going to change it very soon but first of all stretch it out to something like this and you can bring it down the dimension i am using for this shape is 864 by 403 okay pixels okay so just you know make sure it's also the same if you want to get the same once you add it okay, let me just show you how you can set it once you add your shape okay you can just come into position and enter it over here so if i do for example 502 and press enter you can see it gets to adjust that's all you need to do okay yeah so i'll set it here and make sure you're coming to add a new color okay in this case we'll go into gradient the first color okay we will set it to an orange the orange is ff3900 okay then we come to the second color i will set it to yellow then we move this in here so we can have something like this okay so ffc700 is the color we are using all right so now that we have this the next thing you'd want to do is to come back into your uploads okay and i hope by this time you have uploaded everything we need okay so in your element make sure you are finding the uefa champions league logo okay so in your uploads i hope you found it but as part of the thing you should see this particular um logo in here okay so we crop it like this and make sure you have yours in here as well all right so you can come here and just increase the size and position it in here okay then crop it to make sure it's fitting the shape okay so something like this very nice okay very very nice now you can see it's colored but we don't want it to be colored so we just come into edit photo and make sure you are going into adjust in adjust go down to your find saturation and just move it all the way to negative 100 after you do that come into transparency and set this to maybe 20 okay and you should get something like this now 
come back into your upload okay and make sure you're searching for vinicius jr's face okay so there was one i actually have uh, this particular photo come to edit photo and come to background remover just to remove the background of this photo okay and we just need his face okay so we will make it bigger you get it but it shouldn't be too big something that would fit nicely over here then you can just crop okay so crop it and crop it then you can crop it here as well okay okay so we can see what we are doing to so just follow the steps but also feel free to customize you know these things okay so once you set it in like this maybe i'll just maybe make mine small a little bit so that a little bit of his hair can show okay then still having it selected make sure you come to edit photo then come into adjust okay in adjust we are going to make sure we are tweaking everything here so we can get something orangey okay so the temperature i would make it warm okay then the tint you know you can just adjust the tint according to how you want it to be okay so we have i think something like this is cool all right then the last thing we would want to do is to go into saturation then increase the saturation okay so you can have something like this beautiful right the next thing we are going to do okay so in this case let me increase the shape okay so that we can cover more space and i will also bring this here then i can bring vinicius fist over here okay then press r on your keyboard again okay or even you can just come into element and just search for stadium okay in stadium you should see so many stadiums in here but come to see or and choose any of the options that sits well with you okay so in my case i think this one works nice so i will increase the size so i can have something like this okay then what we are simply going to do is to come into edit photo and edit photo make sure you're coming into filters and filters you can just come down and choose any of the beautiful filters in here so i'm coming with a classic and i'll come into my temperature okay then i can adjust the temperature just to have something orangey as well okay so you can also set your own the same way then the next thing we are going to do is we have some other images from vinicius jr okay so um where is where is this uploads okay in uploads choose you know this photo and make sure it's you know it's looking like this okay in the center very 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 nice press r on your keyboard again for another shape and make sure you are setting the size to something like this okay yeah and change the color to a gray or black you can set it to black okay then once you do that bring vinicius photo forward okay so come to layer show layers and just move it all the way to the top okay so we have something like this now the next thing we don't do is add a gradient text okay but before that let me bring this in here and maybe move this to the top a little bit okay yeah and maybe double click and move it to the top a little bit okay because i don't want his face being covered at all okay so something like this then i can bring this up then i can also bring this up a little bit okay then like i said the next thing we're going to do is to add some gradient text to it so make sure you're scrolling down to you find type gradient or if you haven't used it before come to apps okay and just search for type gradient okay so search for it and click on it okay so it should open like this if you are new to it it will ask you to connect and all that make sure you do that then all you have to say is match day okay okay i would want to make it all caps so match day and i think even having this font alone is fine okay so we just now have to apply the gradient the first one was you know a red or an orange sort of okay and the second one was a yellow okay it looks like let me just delete this and select the circle here and set it to yellow okay so we don't want a third color so i will delete it come here and delete it come to the first one and make sure your color is a bit orangey okay so this is what you have then when you come to this section make sure you are creating a diagonal you know uh -huh, something like that okay then click on add to design it should be added to your design then increase the size okay something like this then make sure it's centered and the last thing about this is sending it to the back so this is what you have at the moment 
now we want to add another shape in here okay and just customize this send it to the back or even before you send it to the back come back into your uploads okay so i will search my uploads and choose another photo of Vinicius junior okay and i will just re remove the background all right so with this also i would want it to fall in the shape so i'll just crop everything for it to look as if the shape is containing it okay but the shapes look too much of a square so i want it to look uh, something like this then i can bring this here increase it okay lovely 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 then i can select the two of them okay then we can bring it somewhere here and send it to the back okay so you can maybe bring it here then we can just right click on this one come to copy style and paste it on this particular photo very 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 easy okay now we want to also apply the gradient to the shape so we choose the gradient and this is how it's looking now we would also want to duplicate the shape so you can just come to layer show layers okay select this and press ctrl d to duplicate it then you can maybe move it somewhere here okay then come to upload okay so upload then you can choose the next one okay the next photo which is this nice one okay then maybe with this we wouldn't remove the background so this can be let's say somewhere here okay nice one then maybe we can if you don't want to have the shape you can just delete it and just have the image here okay then what we'll do is we can right click on this come to copy style and paste it here as well so this is what we have at the moment okay so coming to venetius junior what we are going to do is we are going to boost the colors up a little bit so come to edit photo come to adjust in adjust make sure you're scrolling down and boost the saturation sorry boost it up with the vibrance as well okay then come to contrast increase it a little bit to maybe 18 the brightness can come to maybe 15 okay and you can see what we have created in here now to make this more realistic so it doesn't look like he's suspending the air there's one more element which is like a shadow okay so come to your uploads okay and make sure you're finding the shadow so this is the shadow okay then we just reduce the size and place it you know, where his shoes are or his boots there's not a shoe it's a boot okay so what you need to do is make sure it's behind it so you can just send it back and if you're finding it difficult or your keys are still on vacation you can right click send to layer okay it's not sent to layer so it's show layers then make sure it's behind or it's below Venetius junior okay that's all you need to do now the next thing we would need to do okay is to add a number 20 because he was a number 20 jersey okay so you can duplicate this then come to edit okay because you always will have the option to edit your gradient text then over here i'll just say 20 or you know those of you from the us or the eu say 20 20 okay so <laughs> reduce it and this is what we have at the moment okay then we put it here then we can add our last text at the bottom in here and you know for the text most of you know how to do so i'm going to do some magic so in three two one lovely so you can see the text just appeared and it's it's magical it's it's magical you know <laughs> all right so i'll move this up a little bit so that the text is visible okay and there's something you can easily keep all right nice one and you can just see anything here you want to say interesting okay so let's arrange this a little bit i'm thinking this can go back okay it can go back a little bit to something like this okay and maybe this one as well can go oh, oh okay so this is what we are going to do let's group the two okay so that we don't have to be moving things back individually okay so you can select it and press and hold control and select the other shape right click you can even see the group so just group the two okay then you can send it to the back and maybe just drop it down a little bit then we have something like this which we have created but one more thing we can do is to come into element and search for bouquet or bouquet i don't know what the actual names okay then come into graphics you should see a lot of bouquets in here all right if you know the name or you can help me pronounce it kindly help me okay so you can select any of them increase it you get it something like this 
duplicate it and this can even be flipped okay so we'll flip it and send it to the back so we have something like this if it's too much you can always and always reduce the intensity or the transparency okay and this is what we have inside of canva i hope you enjoyed this tutorial look just in case you found it helpful please make sure you're leaving a like on this video share it with your friends so that they can also recreate this inside of canva if there's any tutorial you also want me to be able to help you create leave it in the comment section below i'll check it and make sure i make a video for you the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace Get bounce it, 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 bounce